Welcome back. My name is Vahid Kulspey. I have received another package and I thought uh, I would do another unboxing video. This is uh, from a new friend, John in Holland. And uh, we've been communicating through uh, uh, YouTube comments and also later on into uh, uh, my email, via my email. And uh, he has some wishes with this package. And so it will be exciting to, to look at it. So it seems to be a box with a lid, some sort of lid. He did instruct that uh, I could just open up the lid here, pop it up like so. <laughs> what the heck is this? Roll off. <laughs> All right. I don't know what I've. Okay, something is inside here. Ah, it's stuck. What in my video prompted uh, prompted you to send me uh, tissues? All right, but uh, I get it. There is uh, something stuck in here and it looks like it's a knife. So this is probably just packaging with a bonus. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's squeezed in there. I probably should have taken it the other way. Well, let's see. Uh-oh. Okay, the sheet is coming off without the knife, so I think I will uh, push it back the other way. Or maybe take the knife out first if it's not clipped to the sheath. This is very safe and dangerous at the same time. Okay. Here we go. Nice. All right. I know the background for this knife and uh, let's go through it later. <laughs> Always useful. <laughs> ah, this is intriguing. What is this? I don't know what to think of this. It does seem to have some carved out grips for the fingers here. It's wood inside. All right. I'm not sure what this is. Is it a handle for a sword? I have no idea. Some sort of grip. taped with wood coins euro coins and bills chocolate chocolate nice these things are great always useful pencils artisan pencils or uh, woodworking or construction or project pencils. All right, some cookie box, cherries, chocolate overlay, 
some dough inside looks like this is some cherry jam looks very nice this will go well with tea and coffee what else wind mullins wine gums wine gums met fruit smock with fruit flavor let's try that Ah, mm. nice. Oh, I thought it was matches, but mm. Swedish, but it's heavier. It's not matches. Good, the Valda. This is old stuff. This is an old box. Säker hits 10 sticker. This is Swedish. Sweden or the Valam. This is an old style box. Matchbox. But let's see what's inside. Ooh. Wow. Wow. I want to look at this immediately. Nice. This is very nice. Also sharp. Very nice. Look at that. Need some tightening. Very nice. Wow. Some coins. 1968 five francs this is the swiss flag confederation helvetica confederation helvetica what country is that helvetica confederation helvetica more coins here. Half a franc. 1968. Okay, it is Swiss. This must be Swiss. Okay. Didn't expect coins. Ah, oh, magnets. Yeah. Yeah, these are fun. Heh. <laughs> Fridge magnets or we'll see. <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah, we can ha have fun with these things for hours. Thinking to have my son play with these, but they are too small for him. Hazard. Nice. All right, this is some wrapping. Okay, this is useful. I could uh, ship a knife in this or uh, some other item, cook sour. Thank you. But this is a mystery. Mystery. I don't know what to think of this. It's certainly a grip for something. It seems there is a guard here. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So, I think, uh, so, knowing a bit the background of this knife, this was uh, John's father's knife, and uh, John is an elderly now, older man. And uh, so his father 
uh, had this knife when he was a soldier. Was it Papua New Guinea? And so at 11 years old, John asked his father if he could put a new handle on the knife, which uh, his father allowed, permitted. So this is John's knife handle at 11 years old with a sheath also. So I assume that this is also 11 years old John who made this. It's uh, the grips are a bit small and it seems to be a two-handed, I think. And uh, some sort of blade should be inserted here somehow. He probably figured it out already or he, or he just had this and had an imaginary blade. Katana, is it? <laughs> I don't dare to say that uh, this looks like something from the uh, red district of uh, Amsterdam. <laughs> Just jokes. But I would imagine this... Oh! Left-handed. Yeah. John, are you left-handed? This is left-handed. Left-handed, 11 years old, John. Nice. All right, let's put this, this box to the side and let's talk more about this knife. Maybe eating candy and talking at the same time is not the best idea. Alright. So John told me the uh, background story for this knife. And uh, he's wondering if I could uh, replace the handle and make it more traditionally Scandinavian with the uh, Scandinavian materials like I use on my knives and also the sheath for it I think the idea is nice and I am honored that uh, you want me to do this John but I'm actually hesitating Because you have told the story of this knife. It goes back to your father using it as a soldier. And then you put your own handle on it. When you were, you were 11 years old and you are an older person now. And I hesitate to accommodate your, uh, your request. Because... For me, this knife is full of history and I would hate to tamper with that. This is 11 years old you, John. With the knife going back to your father. I don't want to change that. I don't want to change it. I don't want to tamper with it. I'm honored that you want me to do it, John, but honestly, I don't think I have in me to, uh, to alter this knife. For me, it's beautiful. It's perfect. And on one level, that's what I think knives are because we always kind of kind of modify the knives we buy we fit them more to our liking 
And this is you, an 11 year old boy who wanted to use your father's knife. It's full of history, it's rich. I don't know how many adventures you have taken it to. And the blade, I mean the sheath. You know, John, I would be honored just to have this in my workshop, hang it up. I, I hate to remove this handle and put something that is that lacks the history that you have with this knife. Even if you would like that, John, but I, I can't, I can't do it. So I will just keep this in my workshop and be honored that uh, you sent it to me to do, to do whatever I would want with it after I put a new handle on it. You don't even want to have the knife back, so with your permission, John, I will hang it up somewhere and it will be in my knife making videos. Together with my broken first uh, burned up uh, forged blade <laughs> I'll be happy to have this just like as is I think it's beautiful and I'm honored that you sent this to me but I, I don't have the heart to uh, remove this handle and put something else there that, that deprives it of its history Let me know guys if this is the right decision. I know it, it's going against your, your, your request, John, but I, I just don't have it in me to change this. I'd rather keep it as it is. For me, this is childhood memories and I, I don't want to remove that. I don't, I don't want to eradicate that. It's beautiful. Thank you so much, John, for sending me this package, these gifts, these candies, the chocolate coins, the magnets, and this. <laughs> I will use this. <laughs> but this is this is the. Uh, Creme de la creme of the package, the cherry on top. This is wonderful. Thank you, John. I will keep it in my uh, in my workshop as is. It's beautiful. All right, guys. Thank you. I hope uh, you like this unboxing, and uh, thank you again so much, John. See you on the next video. Thank you.